Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I want to talk to you guys about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This is a game that I've been obsessed with recently, and I've put a lot of time and effort into making some videos and streams. And I wanted to go over a couple tips and tricks with this series, and I figured I'd actually make a series involving this game based off recommendations and things that I've learned as I've played. Uh, the first episode that we're going to cover today is about parachuting and loot spawns. I want to talk to you guys about strategy for loot strategy as well as parachuting strategy, trying to find a location where you can go, where you can actually kind of position yourself for a better game and actually get those wins more effectively. And the first thing you need to know about this game, the start is super important. I'm going to be using this website, which is pubgmap.io. Uh, this was posted early on onto a Reddit thread, and I saw it, and I think it's a great little example just to kind of learn a little bit about the map. Um, I don't know anything about the creators, but uh, the thing I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to interact with the map and actually use it uh, just for today because this is going to be something I can discuss and point out things on the map and show you guys in detail. Otherwise, I have to use screenshots, and it's too complicated. But uh, let's actually talk about this. So first off, when you guys start a game, most players usually go to these really busy spots, uh, high-risk areas, high-risk rewards. Um, this map actually has them pretty nailed down. Uh, all these places are pretty dangerous and places you probably want to avoid, um, places you don't really want to go to unless there's certain circumstances. And I'm going to talk about that right now. So we're going to use the measure tool here to kind of highlight and show you an example. Let's say, for example, your plane starts over by Stauber and it ends over here through the middle of the map. Uh, this is a pretty common uh, flight path that I see from time to time. It comes in at a steep angle, covers almost all of the cities and all the areas. So in my time playing this game, I'm a, I'm a former, I guess, top 10 player. I was ranked, I believe, 6th or 4th in squads at one point in time uh, when the game was first out for the first month and a half, and I learned a lot about it. I've been playing casually with friends, and I've been teaching them how to get better at the game. Also, a lot of other YouTubers who aren't professional players um, that are just getting into this. And the first thing I noticed is people want to go to these areas that are insanely dangerous. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you follow this path, the plane starts here, for example, and then it ends here. Uh, the areas that people most likely will go during this route is going to be Yasnova, uh, Pollyanna, and then it's going to be Razak. It's going to be the school, the apartments, uh, Pachinki here, um, and then you're going to have some people that go to Primorsk. Those are probably going to be your most risky areas. Anything around here and then like in this certain range is where people can travel to. Uh, what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you travel from one location and kind of get further out on the map. So if you uh, are traveling from here, what I would recommend is learning car spawns. Once you understand car spawns, that's gonna allow you to get further away from where other players are gonna be and loot safely. So right off the top of my head, I could see a couple places that I would say would be safe. Uh, Lepovka is kind of a risk. There might be people that can land here and then get to that. Um, they can go to Pollyanna, get a car. They can get a car anywhere on this road or farm area and then get to Lepovka. But again, I would recommend that as being a safe spot. Milta Power will be safe. Milta itself would potentially be safe for you to loot if you can get a vehicle and land there early. Um, the military base is still safe, most likely. Not too many people are going to be going there. Um, in cases like this, some people could jump, get a vehicle, go across the bridge, and loot there. I've done it before. Same thing with Novo. People do that all the time. But uh, places that I would loot right now, just off the top of my head, um, I would recommend getting a vehicle. Now, the three things that stand out in mind with this plane path, you see it start and go all the way down. Uh, there's three hard car spawns. Car spawns spawn in garages. Um, hard car spawns. There's cars that spawn on the road, which are just kind of, you know, dynamic or static. Uh, they just kind of disappear. They're there one game and they're not there. But with a car spawn, for example, there's one right here in Razak. Uh, it's like a little west of Razak. There's a car spawn there. And then there's one actually right here as well. Um, the other two car spawns that I can think of off the top of my head are here and here. Uh, you do get lucky from time to time. There's a car spawn out here. There's a car spawn like here. Um, and I think there's a buggy or some vehicle that spawns there as well. But those are subject to change, and you won't know that until you actually pop your parachute and get there. So if my plane flew from this direction downward, what I would say would be safe and what would be a best bet is to get one of these vehicles. I would get this vehicle here or this one. Uh, most likely my first priority would probably be jumping and then cruising over and getting this one. Most likely players aren't going to be going for that exactly so to speak. There might be a couple that go there, but it's a little bit out of the way. The rush that you're going to see most players, a lot of people are going to jump in Pollyanna. A couple are going to try to go to Severny, and then you're going to have the rest that are like Razak School, this area, Pachinki. I would not go to Pachinki. Uh, there is a car spawn in Pachinki, 
And if you guys are curious, it's right here. Um, it's like this is uh, area where there's like these trenches. It's always right next to the trench here. Um, sometimes you have a dynamic one that spawns or um, that spawns around there. It just depends. It changes from time to time. So that's not a secure bet. Uh, the Pachinki car spawn, I usually try to avoid that because there's so many people that are going to go there, especially with the plane being right on top of the city. Primorsk, I wouldn't go to Primorsk. Uh, my play here would be to grab this vehicle, and then what I would do is I would go to George Pool, and I would land here. Uh, I would drive to this area. You just go around the bridge, you know, you go up, up the bridge, and then you come off, and I would not go to the crates. Most players tend to go to the crates now, so I just go to the back six, which is three apartment buildings, and then these six buildings here that you guys can see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, they're two uh, story buildings and there's six of them and if you're playing solos or duos or squads your entire team can loot this area and be relatively safe um, you have to look at the plane path people aren't going to be able to really coast that far they're going to land like here maybe if they're lucky and then they're going to run or grab a vehicle and go there but if you're lucky you can get there first get a weapon and defend yourself that's what this is about is looting in seclusion getting to a place where you can loot by yourself so off the top of my head here recommendations severny i probably wouldn't go to severny i would go to george pool i loot that back six lapavka's in play if you can grab this vehicle here i would go to lapavka um, the other vehicle that you can grab is if you jump early you can transport yourself right here there's a car spawn in this building and if you grab that vehicle you can go to Lapavka and be a little bit quicker. Um, learning car spawns is going to help you tremendously. Um, you can even get this car and go to Milta, but keep in mind that the plane is still traveling. People can grab a vehicle and go to Milta and maybe beat you there. So I would just grab this one, shortest route possible, get to Lapavka, loot that. Um, you might be able to go to Milta Power. Um, you might be able to go to Milta. It just depends. Um, but the idea, really, the thing that you guys need to understand is do not go to any of the cities directly underneath the map unless you absolutely have to, or unless you want to get a vehicle. So I'm going to turn off measure mode real quick. Um, we're going to simulate another flight. That way we can talk about this as well. Uh, let's say we have one that goes like this. Uh, this happens from time to time. It'll be like right in the middle. Um, I'm not kidding. It's right above like all of this. So this one's kind of hard to decide on what you want to do. And um, the reason for that is... You're going to have people that jump off Severny. So Severny, don't land at Severny. Pollyanna, you're going to have people that float there. Probably not going to want to land there. Razak, off limits. The school, off limits. Apartment buildings, off limits. Pachinki, off limits. Um, military base. When the flight goes from down up here all the way down, people still wait. And you're still going to have people in this area. You're going to have at least 10 people that are still going to go to the military base. So I would avoid that. What I would recommend doing here off the top of my head would be another play. Grab the vehicle here at Razak. Grab the one here at this car. Um, you can even grab these two. These two might be a little bit more busy. This one still going to have some people. But this one's usually somewhat left alone. People will go there from time to time. You just have to kind of determine that when you're flying. Grab that vehicle. Go to the back six over at George Pool. That's, that's fine. It's out of the way. People can't coast there. The other thing is Lapavka's open. Paul, uh, Milta Power's open. Milta itself is somewhat open. The plane's close enough that people will jump and coast and will probably get there. But it's a risk that you might have to take. If you get a vehicle, you can get here, go loot the crater. Get a vehicle, go loot Pavka. Just be careful with Pollyanna. Um, the villas here are all lootable. All this stuff out here is lootable. Um, woodcutter camp, not really something I'd recommend. The bunkers, that's okay. Uh, people will be there. Milta Power is probably a little safer. The idea is to give yourself a buffer. You want to loot alone, by yourself, without other players. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, well, why don't you just get a vehicle and go to Zarki? Well, Zarki is not the best place to loot. I would say not too many people go there, so it's an option. But I wouldn't recommend it because I just it's so far off the map that you could probably just grab a car, like I suggested earlier, and get to Lapavka quicker than it would take you to get to Zarki. Um, simple things like that. So if you want to stay alive in this game, you want to live longer in this game, you need to play smarter. And how you do that is by avoiding other players. I hate to say it. A lot of people want to be active. They want to get in there. They want to get that Call of Duty rush. They want to fight people and they want to be aggressive. But you need to understand that the more aggressive you are in this game, the higher risk you have of dying and losing this game. 
Um, when I was ranked top 10, I had a win rating of around 65, 70%. Now, a lot of that is because I'm playing with other top 10 players that are very capable and they're very helpful and know what they're doing. So if one of us dies, they can kind of fill that role. Um, you know, a three-man squad is still very effective because of how good at the game they are. So I have to give my team props for helping to support me and get that win rating. But uh, this is something that has worked for me and something that has worked for me with lower experience players, players that I play with casually and stream with casually who aren't professional players. Uh, what we tend to do is we just go somewhere, like, you know, we grab this vehicle, go to George Pool, loot this area in the back six, and then we drive to the center of the safe zone. The reason we go to the center of the safe zone, safe zones usually tend to be a little bit safer if you're in the middle. The edges are people where people are looting for the most part, and then you have to kind of fight your way in. I like to have my way where it's like in the middle of the safe zone. I don't have to worry about being caught in the gas. I don't have to worry about getting picked off by a team in the field because I've secured and I locked down a building in the middle of the safe zone. Now, as the safe zone changes, we move from safe zone to safe zone as soon as possible. And that's going to allow us to get there first and then defend it. Not so much we have to attack and worry about people behind us and then have to be in a rush. We always get there early. Um, that's something I like to do, and it seems to work well. There's multiple strategies, and I can talk about that later. This is more just talking about the flight path and the plane and actually parachuting. So we're going to do another one just so you guys get my point here. Um, and we could talk a little bit more about it, but I don't want to keep you guys here too much because it's pretty simple. Uh, this is one I see occasionally. It flies like this. It's a very awkward one. It doesn't really touch any of the cities. And uh, this is why I said car spawns are really important and something to understand. So if the plane flies from the right side to the left side, uh, ideally what you're going to want to do in this situation, you can even cruise to the crater. Other players are going to be doing that. I wouldn't recommend that. Bunkers are playable. People could do that. Milt to power, off limits, milt to off limits. Probably all this stuff down here, Primorsk, I wouldn't go there. Um, a risky play I've done in the past, you can fly from here to the military base. Keep in mind, other players will follow you, and they will do that as well. They might not actually be able to land there. They're going to land here and then walk, or they're going to get a vehicle on this roadway that spawns, and then they're just going to drive there. But uh, in this situation, you have a lot of the map that's available up north, so I would recommend anywhere up north, even if you're on foot, just going up and looting. Um, probably, in my personal opinion, what I would do here, it just depends on cars, and it's hard to tell. Uh, car spawns you can't see unless they're, you know, a guaranteed, like you know where like, there's going to be a vehicle in this building right here. Um, other than that, this one's kind of limited to what's on the road. If you can cruise to Pachinki, you can get that vehicle that spawns here. It's in um, this building right there. Again, it's going to be risky because the plane, people might be able to fly there, and they might be able to uh, contest that, and that's something that's hard to do. But uh, even if you land somewhere, um, man, this is such a bad plane. You could even wait, try to go to Gatka, land here. I would stretch further. The further you're out you are, most likely other players have already landed. So I would probably say try to get to Gatka, get here, and then just loot these smaller buildings and then cut inward as the, as the zone shows you where you need to be. But um, this is just something I wanted to give you guys tips on. Uh, the main car spawns that I use in most games are right here. This one, which would be left west of Rozok, the Rozok car itself, and then these two, the L's. Um, these things are J's, I guess is what you could call them. Uh, either one of these works, um, and they work quite well to position you around the map. But this one's a pretty shitty plane because it's not close to the city. But uh, Pachinki is something that you need to be worried about. Milta wouldn't loot there. Milta Power wouldn't loot there. Lapavka, people are still going to jump and travel from there. So that's kind of off limits. You probably want to try to get further north. If you can grab a vehicle, go to Severny. By all means, do it. You can grab a vehicle. You might be able to go to Pollyanna. That's going to be a risk because it's, it's not that far away. Other people will eventually show up there. Good thing about this, though. It's a big city, so if you go up to these apartments here and loot there, you loot this side of the apartments, you might not actually run into other players, but it's something that you need to be aware of and kind of keep focus on. The other thing you can do with this plane, and this is situational, is if you see a vehicle, so you're going to jump out and you're going to want to like commit to the farm. Uh, there's two farms here. Sometimes there's a car spawn that spawns there. Um, I think there's one that spawns here as well. Um, off the top of my head, I'm kind of fuzzy, but there's more car spawns along this road, and I think one even spawns at this compound occasionally. But you take a risk. You go to one of these farms, hope to find a vehicle, and if you find a vehicle, you can go somewhere else. You can go to the school. You can go to the apartments. You can go further north. You can go to George Pool. Um, something like that would work pretty well for you. But um, with this strategy, the idea is to get a loan, loot by yourself, get fully looted, and then commit and go back to the circle and then kind of defend it. You don't have to worry. You're like, man, I don't have any armor. I only have one, you know, I only have like a level one helmet. 
this is a way to get fully looted with level two gear at least most likely some level three and then your entire squad doesn't die right away i see a lot of people when the plane travels like this and then they uh actually we'll we'll redo this one it'll be like something like this and then they'll just like it starts here and then it goes up and they all jump at the school i wouldn't recommend that if you're playing squads trying to win you need to play passively and loot smartly um so basically if this started here and ends there I would again go for this vehicle, this vehicle, this vehicle, this vehicle, and then I would try to get to George Pool. I try to get to Lapavka, Milta Power, Milta. Uh, you could even go to the military base if you got a vehicle early on. Uh, sometimes one spawns here by the bridge. Wouldn't really recommend that though because it's not a guaranteed spawn. Um, same thing, there's some other car spawns around this area as well, but they're not guaranteed. Sometimes in Primorsk also. But uh, that's just how this goes. Getting a car spawn, not landing anywhere where this line touches, and going away is your best possible bet to actually do well in this game. Um, hopefully you guys understood what I'm trying to convey here. I will have some examples, or I do have some examples posted in full gameplays on my channel. If you want to see it in action where we discuss it, definitely go check those out. Um, hopefully that will give you guys some tips on how to kind of survive and make this starting point of the game last for you. Because the start is really going to affect your mid-game uh, mid to late-game. It's going to make it to where you either win or you don't win just based off loot quality. If you have better gear, better sights at the beginning, it's going to be a lot easier to survive later on and a lot easier to take those fights that you have to take later as well. But anyway, guys, if you have any things that you want to suggest or any things that you want me to cover, leave a comment below and I will definitely read through those and I will make another part to this video talking about other tips and tricks for this series as well. Anyway, guys, this is Cross. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and I will see you soon with another video. As always, take care.